Do 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 Yes, people, we are talking about her hair, hair, heads, combs, brushes, detanglers, um, conditioners, uh, what you do with that child's hair. That's what we're talking about. Come on, just come with me. I know, I know the struggle. I got my hair, and I cut my hair, and I got. Anya's hair, which is very thick. And Aria's is coming up next, okay? I know. I know. Alright, y'all. There's so many different types of products in the damn store for natural hair. Curly hair. Tight curled hair. Thick hair. Um, wavy hair, straight hair, um, is your hair frizzy? All, all this stuff. And I remember when Anya was one and she had the Sanford and Son situation going on and everybody wanted to know when her hair was going to grow in. I'm just like, leave her alone because I already know that the Lord is enjoying this joke the fact that he gave me a girl for my first child and on top of that he gonna let me think that I'm not about to have a uh, child with a lot of hair so he gonna sneak it up on me sure enough he snuck it up on me right now when I wash Anya's hair it is to her mid back and that's with the curly I don't even want to see that child's hair with it straight I'm good we good it's it's just like an instant project now my mom took great pride in washing Nanya's hair over the sink like she used to do mine when my hair was very long um deep conditioning it detangling it and blowing it out with the comb on the dryer now listen I hate doing my own hair let alone having to do a child's hair that really fights you the whole time when she's getting her hair done because she doesn't like getting her hair combed she'll straight tell me what brush i need to use in her hair she hates the detangler brush she likes the little um small bristle brush that just gets her edges together scrapes some things up um she'll hide combs from me so i can't find the comb she hates when i use a comb I usually put her hair in bubbles and barrettes because I feel like today the society pushes like your daughters to grow up very quickly. And I don't know about y'all, but when I was young, my mom had my hair in bubbles and barrettes until I was in seventh grade. And I feel like that sh- that's how it should be. I don't want Anya to ever be worried about having her hair straightened, having her hair um, with any type of extensions in it or any of that crap or having her hair in color. No. You get this barrette. I could do a zigzag. I could do a straight. I could do a puff. I could put your hair in some chiny bumps, a.k.a. Bantu knots. Like, that's what we're doing. But I'm not straightening your hair. I'm not putting in extensions in your hair. I'm not coloring your hair. We're not doing none of that. You're not cutting your hair. Unless I say I'm cutting it. And I do trim Anya's ends. Because her hair is thick. It's soft. It's wavy. It's tightly curled. Um, I can comb it out to where it's not so tightly curled and I have to either twist it up or plait it. I do not know how to braid. For the life of me, I cannot learn how to braid. I just don't get it. Once I get 
like the third piece of hair under it's a wrap like I don't know what other hair you want me to grab I don't get the concept never gotten it could never braid my own hair always had somebody braid mine I have never taken Anya to the hairdresser to get her hair braided but I feel like that's something I'm going to do um, in the future but I just wanted to go over some products I use now when my hair was longer um, before I put a relaxer in my hair um, it was super thick it wasn't tight curls like Anya's I want to say she more so gets that from her dad her dad's hair was like slightly curled not tight like hers but slightly curled and really like a deep dark black um and thick and my hair is thick but a different type of thick um so that's where she gets that hair from uh now Ari her hair is light brown which I don't know where she get light brown hair from maybe from my mom because my mom has like reddish brown hair light brown hair and dark brown hair and she has grays at the front listen don't ask I don't know can't give you no answers but that's just what it is and Ari's dad's hair is very dark um his hair used to be long he used to have braids uh, but he cut his hair um his mom's hair was very long my hair is very long so I already know Ari's hair is going to be long. What I don't know is how thick Ari's hair is going to be. Um, if it's going to stay that color brown. Right now, it still has curls in it. Um, but yes, I, she's going to fight me too when I need to comb my hair. But I just wanted to go over some products that I use and Anya's hair. And I have nieces. Nieces. Is that a word? Well, so I have different my, my 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 family is just so multicultural that makes no sense and it's kind of like everybody has a different hair texture so I have a niece whose mother is Puerto Rican and then my brother is Jamaican and then I have a niece who I think her mom is um Korean I want to say Korean And my brother's Jamaican. And so, both of their hair is very curly and long and pretty. But because of the texture is different, different products are used. So, for like thick curly hair, it's this um, moisturizer that I use in Anya's hair sometimes called Maui Moisture. And it seals and hydrates her hair. That's why I like it. Also, I use deep conditioners in Anya's hair every time I wash it because her hair um, can get dry if it's not moisturized properly. So I use like a shea butter hair mask. Um, for curly, frizzy hair, there's this Palmer's Natural Fusions rose water that you can use in your hair. It's pretty good. It's like eight bucks. And my favorite that is lightweight not greasy, not heavy, that you can use on um, most hair types. It's a Palmer's Hair Success. It comes in a round jar. They have a smaller version of it. I think the smaller version of it is like $5.99, and then the bigger jar is like $10. You can order it on walmart.com or on most um, hair websites that sell hair products. Sometimes you can't find it in Sally's. Here in Georgia, you can rarely find it in beauty supply stores. It's hard to find, but it is a good hair cream. I've been My mom's been using that in my hair since the beginning of time. And it, it's been helping my hair grow like nobody's business. Palmer's Hair Success. Trust me, you're going to love it. It has a nice smell. Um, and it's not greasy and... It just really moisturizes your scalp and helps your hair breathe and grow. Make sure you clip your ends. That is how your hair is going to be healthy. Clip your ends. 
Now, in Georgia and Atlanta, a lot of people here don't know the difference between clipping ends and they don't know the difference between a haircut. And so that's why I take it upon myself to clip Anya's ends of her hair. I clip the ends of my hair and I just keep it moving. Uh, Deep conditioning every time I wash Anya's hair and my hair just because moisturizing your hair is key. I twist Anya's hair out after um, I wash it and decondition it. Uh, most of the time, I'll do her hair while it's, while it's still wet. And when it's wet, I'll go ahead and use like a, a organic coconut oil that I keep in the fridge so it doesn't um, just melt because it'll get like too warm in the house sometimes for it. It's in a glass jar and I'll use the coconut oil on her hair when it's wet, I'll either twist it, part it, or put it in some um, bantu knots, and I'll keep it in there for a few days, and then as it dries, it'll stay in the same style, but it'll be detangled. It'll still be moisturized, and I can keep my mornings at a minimum so I can leave out the door. She can sleep comfortably. I try to use um, bubbles in her hair. Um, little black um, comfortable rubber bands if I get her like um, scrunchies for her hair I'll use the ones without the metal because her hair once it sit in a certain style it'll start wrapping itself around elastics in her hair and I either have to cut them out or tug a war with getting it out because her hair just turns into like a damn vine and wraps itself around stuff and it's so annoying but it's pretty um another favorite that i use is a green supreme by carol's daughter it's a sulfate free shampoo it's about 10 bucks um there is a honey curls by miss jessie's let me tell you miss jessie's products smell like love and they really moisturize Anya's hair really good sometimes I'll use them in my hair um there's another like moisturizer that I use I forgot the brand of it but it's hella expensive um it could be like sometimes $15 a bottle and it's not really a big bottle but it, it's like an almond milk that I'll use and moisturize her hair and my hair um, sometimes if I have to gel Anya's hair, I'll use the Eco Olive Oil Gel. It's $3. You could get it at Walmart, Target, most beauty supply stores. It's the one with the olive oil in it. She's never had any allergic reaction to it. Like, I've seen a post about that gel giving people, um, issues with allergic reactions with their scalp and stuff. That had to be that one particular person's personal issue because I've always used it on Anya's hair and it's never given me an issue. It doesn't flake. It gets her edges up, especially if I have to put her hair in like a high bun or like the front of her hair if I want to brush it up and go. It's really good for that. But the Honey Curls by Miss Jessie's with the almond and honey condition cream really holds her hair. I love it. Any detangler on Anya's hair is perfect. I usually keep like a spray bottle of water and um, rosemary and a little olive oil in her hair stuff. So when I'm doing her hair and I want to get her edges up to, to the gods, I'll use that with the gel just so I can lock in like a moisturizer and still lay her edges down so it looks nice. Cantu, I really don't use any of their products except for the tea tree um, scalp oil, which is about $6. That's pretty good. Um, oil sheen, I do not use that on her hair. Anya's hair has no relaxer in it. Um, I don't do anything else to it but what I said. Ari's hair, I'll do like a light moisturizer after... I wash her hair or whatever and just brush it down and it'll stay and then throughout the day it'll start curling up and doing whatever it wants. When I picked her up for my mom's in Florida, she had like a little ponytail. It was cute. But um, yeah, I think if you have a family that's multicultural, 
or you have a family um, of different hair textures, what you're going to have to do is try different products. I would um, give you advice to watch YouTube to see who has similar hair to what your kids may have and try to use some products of what they use and try it out. But deep conditioning and a good sulfate-free shampoo is good. Also, the Aussie, um, that purple bottle deep conditioner or that three-minute conditioner is really good. It smells really good. Um, try those. But yeah, that's what I use on Anya's hair and Ari's hair and my hair. And uh, let me know what works out for you. There's also a Mika Soul Food Nourishing Mask from Sephora. So that's something you want to get on payday because it's about $30 a pop. But that's pretty good. But um, I'm always buying deep conditioners uh, for hair in my house. I always got hella shampoo and hella conditioners up in here. So just condition, oil your scalp, um, wash your hair every... I wash her hair, I want to say, every week and a half because you just never know what she's into. Um, and her hair could take it. My hair, I'll wash... Now that it's short, I wash more often. Um, before, I would wash it like every two weeks. Now I can wash it more often because I only got longer hair like on the top and the middle. Everything else is shaved. Um, but other than that, let your hair breathe. Trim your ends. If you're interested in your hair growing longer, trim your ends. And if you wear... Um, weave or a lot of braids you have to let your edges breathe too or else you're going to run into a time frame you where your hairline is going to be far back um, there's nothing wrong with protective styles but always give your hair a break also that is my sense on do you hear me you know let that thing flow in the wind everybody's hair is different but everybody here can be beautiful if treated in the right way. This is Cozy Womb Zilsis. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. I am loving the variation on your podcast today. Hey, nice topic. Oh, as we were speaking about the textures, about the products. I was just like, you go girl, because that's just really a topic of my street. Yes, my whole household, we are all natural. The only kind of difference in our household is my older daughter. As she got older, stopped, you know, just having any interest in wearing her natural, uh, sorry, natural hair out as often. Um, and she would ask for braids or extensions. So we do that every now and again. But if not, she will wear it out naturally and just put in a, like a small loose ponytail. And she loves gel. Um, oh my gosh, gel. I'm like, ah, this gel. Everything just so resonated with me. But I have to look for these Palmer's. Oh, what did you say it was again? I listened to it again. I'll see if our um, beauty, uh, sorry, beauty supply store. I can't get my words out. <laughs> our beauty supply store has it because our beauty supply store has literally everything. So I'll see if uh, they have it. Uh, I try to like minimize the use of so many different products. Um, yeah. Oh, if you want to learn how to like braid hair, is it like cornrow hair? Is that what you're talking about? Guess what? I had to learn three years ago or two years ago um, through YouTube. I couldn't do it either. Because most kids, most African kids learned how to cornrow hair like from a young age. I just never got it. I just couldn't get my head around it. I was just like, I just had two, you know, crossed hands. <laughs> but... I was so determined not to be spending any more money in the hair salon because it was costing me a fortune. Braiding in those days, my daughter still used to do the cornrows and my younger one also uh, used to have her hair cornrowed. Now my older one has got very thick hair and she gets that from my mother. My younger daughter gets that from 
from me and she gets her hair texture from myself and her dad. We have got finer, thinner, looser hair texture, but curly, super curly. And our hair is brown too. So when he said brown hair, it's like, where did she get brown hair from? But I also think the, the, the sun and the kind of weather bleaches the hair to a certain degree. So sun is known to, to kind of naturally dye the hair. So this topic is just so up my street. It's up my street. How I wish I could come out to Georgia and teach you how to cornrow. If that's what you're talking about, um, that you don't know how to do, um, it does take a little while. I'm not going to say it's easy because if you're like me, you can't get your head around it then. Yeah. But, um, both of my girls are natural. They have been natural all their lives. One's 14 and the other one's going to be 12 in a few weeks time. So, and yeah, I've been natural literally most of my life. I had a few years in between where I relaxed my hair and it wasn't for me because my hair is really thin and fine. So when I relax it, it looks horrible. And yes, trimming is different to having a haircut. And yes, I trim my, my girl's hair as well. I just take a small scissors and take off the dead ends. And that is it because they have a whole lot of hair. So yes, keep these interesting topics coming, sis.